<clears throat> Whew, it's kind of hot in here. Hey guys, I want to keep it simple today. Three points. Number one, how is my spiritual life being affected right now today? Number two, a scripture that opened up my eyes to the reality and helped me to make sense of everything. And number three, that interpretation of the scripture and paraphrase of the scripture. Question of the day. How is your devotional life? What are you studying? Go ahead and comment down below so, so that we can know. Now let's get to the video. All right, everybody, so the reason why I'm a Christian or follower of Jesus, fellowship with other Christians and Bible study, studying the Bible on my own, is because the Bible is the inspired word of God. I walk around campus studying other topics, other lectures, but that doesn't separate me from the time that I have with God. So Satan has a game plan and he watches to make sure that I'm off guard in order to distract and discourage. Right, yet the next thing that I see is that God is at work as well. And there are blessings all around every day. Divine appointments, in fact, are taking place, which leads me to my next point. The scripture that I read in Psalm 21 verse three was simple enough for me to understand. And it says, For thou preventest him with the blessings of goodness. Thou settest a crown of pure gold on his head. Now, after I read that scripture, I had to scratch my head and sit back and question myself. What is the one thing that God is actually trying to prevent us from doing? I believe the answer is not live a selfish life. To be other-centered, loving and giving unto others. And the method of God is that he pours out blessings upon us. And we sit back with the guilt that we bear and hide our faces and ignore all the signs that God is trying to give us. Recognize our unworthiness, but God loves you. It just takes a little bit of time to get to know him. It reminds me of another passage of scripture that says, God is love. It's not saying that God is loving, and it's not saying that God is love in the same way that we say, I love puppy dogs and I love ice cream. The way that the word gets thrown around in this generation and misused and misunderstood. God is love in the essence, the very life source. And God wants us to tap into that life source. Now, how do we do it? Pick up the dusty Bible, the new Bible that you just bought or the Bible that you already use. Keep it simple. Spend a little bit of time reading, praying, and allowing the Holy Spirit to teach you. If you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and give a thumbs up. Also, I'd like to hear more from you, a comment down below. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. My name is Joseph, and by the grace of the living God, we will talk to you later.